We've got some new content, some new cards, including, look, a Diamond 1 Soto, Yoshinobu Yamamoto, a free Diamond Mookie Betts. I'm curious to see if any of these cards you're excited for down in the comment section. I feel like for me, before seeing attributes, definitely Juan Soto, always one of my favorites. I love Corbin Burns, and then I really want to try out the Tyler O'Neal that dropped today as well. And this might be kind of a hot take. I don't know if anyone else feels the same way, but I don't want to say I'm tired of it because we're early on in the year. But I kind of wish when they dropped new packs, like this Fresh Start pack, the Soul Series, they had the Spring Breakouts. I kind of wish there were other ways to get, you know, at least one of those packs. Because I don't really like that the only way to get the new cards is from the pack shop. I just wish they had some other ways to be getting the new cards. But let's go ahead and go over the new cards that we have today. Let's start with this free Mookie Betts. I'm just going to go ahead and get mine right now so I don't have to forget about it. But we got an 85 overall rookie series Mookie Betts for free in the pack shop. Center field primary also plays second base left field and right field 77 contact versus righties 103 con power contact that's contact versus lefties and then small power numbers 54 versus righties 42 versus lefties 83 vision for them 70 discipline 63 clutch 85 fielding 80 speed 88 reaction 87 arm strength 72 arm accuracy no quirks for the rookie Mookie Betts. We have a base round and a rare round in this fresh start pack, 40,000 stubs apiece. Starting with the base round, we have an 89 overall Reese Hoskins first base card, 71 contact versus righties, 86 contact versus lefties, 90 power versus righties, 100 power versus left-handed pitching, 66 vision form, 84 clutch, 70 fielding at first base, also 41 speed. I don't know if I'll put him in left field with that 45 arm strength, 76 reaction, no quirks for this hyper series, Reese Hoskins part of this fresh start pack. We also have Michael King, a starting pitcher card as part of this base round for the Padres. 83 stamina, 80 hits per nine, 87 walks per nine, 86 control, 84 pitching clutch, 96 velo, 99 break. We see the velocity on each of his pitches in the top right, a sinker, slurve, forcing fastball, and a circle change. We can also see the control up in the top right on each of those pitches and the break on each of those pitches up in the top right. He has a few quirks, including breakout liar on this starting pitcher. Michael King. Next up in the base round, I was just talking about him, Tyler O'Neill on the Red Sox now. Right field primary, also plays left and center field. 73 contact versus righties, 76 contact versus lefties, 82 power versus right, 91 power versus left with 50 vision, 68 discipline, 70 clutch on the card. 83 fielding, 85 reaction, 92 arm strength, 81 arm accuracy with 90 speed for this Tyler O'Neill. No quirks on the card. Next up in the base round is going to be Chris Sale in that Braves uniform. Left-handed starting pitcher, 90 stamina for him, 83 hits per nine, 81 walks per nine, 82 control, 90 velocity, 99 break, 80 pitching clutch. Up in the top right, we can see the pitch selection, four seam slider, circle change, and a sinker. We see the velo on each of his pitches. We see the control on each of his pitches up in the top right. And we see the break at 99, literally for each of his four pitches. 99 max break. That makes me scared to face, especially with Breakout Liar, to face even this 89 Chris Sale. And I think maybe last up in the base round, I always love switch hitters. I always love specifically Jorge Polanco. He gets a card here in the base round. 80 contact versus righties, 88 contact versus lefties, 96 power versus righties with still decent 76 versus left-handed pitching, 75 vision, 100 clutch form, going to be great with runners in scoring position for the 89, 68 fielding at second base, again, third and shortstop secondaries, 67 reaction, only 64 arm strength with 83 arm accuracy, 74 speed for Jorge Polanco, and that is the it for the base round. Now for the rare round, the three cards in here, we start with a 92 overall, Corbin Burns, weird to see him on the Orioles, 
97 stamina, 102 hits per nine. He has 82 home runs per nine. Don't know why I mentioned that, but 76 walks per nine, 84 pitching clutch, 80 control for him, and then 99 velocity, 99 break. We see the pitch selection and the velocity on his cutter, curveball, circle change, slider, and sinker up in the top right. We see the control on each of his pitches in the top right, and we see the break on each of his pitches up in the top right. He also has Breakout Liar, the first card in the rare round in this new Fresh Start pack. We also have a Yoshinobu Yamamoto card, starting pitcher, hyper series for all of these. 98 stamina for him, 94 hits per nine, 84 walks per nine, 96 pitching clutch, 86 velocity, 85 control, and 99 break. We see his pitch selection and the velocity on his four-seamer, splitter, curveball, cutter, and slurve up in the top right. We can also see the control on each of his pitches not looking too bad, and then the break looking pretty solid besides the cutter and slurve, but those two pitches usually could use some break. I'm very interested to see how this Yamamoto card plays. I want to try him at some point, and then maybe the card I'm most excited for today. I'm a big fan of Juan Soto cards. He is the final card for us in the rare round, final card in this fresh start pack. Right field primary, also plays left and center field. 100 contact versus righties, 86 contact versus lefties, 103 power versus right-handed pitching with 85 versus left-handed pitching, 74 vision, of course, 125 discipline, 95 clutch, 67 fielding, 76 arm strength, 72 arm accuracy, 74 reaction, and 52 speed for this 92 overall Juan Soto. Of course, he has quite a few quirks as well. I love unfazed. I love dead red. I love breaking ball hitter. I love first pitch hitter. And bad ball hitter is always nice as well. A lot of good quirks on this 92 Juan Soto. And that's going to be it for the Fresh Start Pack. Again, I'm interested in the comment section to see if any of these cards, who are you excited for? maybe gonna get you want to try out anything like that we also got a new headliner yesterday but i didn't make a video going over it yesterday so here is the pack for the set four headliner we have a 91 overall postseason jason bay left field primary also plays center field and right field 108 contact versus righties 90 contact versus lefties 95 power foreign versus righties 80 versus left-handed pitching 72 vision 103 clutch 71 fielding 58 speed 62 reaction for this 91 overall jason bay who does have a few quirks as well now i want to go ahead and see if there's anything else uh, i think they dropped a new conquest map sometime last week without warning so i'm just going to see if there's another one here no we don't have another one but there is that spring showers conquest map that is available and if we go ahead and take a look at the calendar we can see today was the 27th mookie Betts was that free diamond player pack tomorrow the 28th they're going to start supercharging cards with the opening day games and then on friday the 29th that's going to be a pretty decent sized content day it looks like we have a new event the opening day event i'm interested to see the rewards from that event we have the egg hunt program this was a fan favorite last year i'm really interested to see how they do it last year i might have to go back on mlb 23 and just see kind of what it was like maybe look at my video from that and hopefully by the end of the day on friday we should have a video going over how to get all the eggs for the egg hunt program they had a little bit of a hint on twitter and people are thinking that maybe there's going to be a frank thomas coming from the egg hunt program and then also on the 29th we have the ranked program update so if you've been grinding out ranked seasons you've been going through the ranked program you might know you're able to get to that andrew mccutcheon but you can't quite get all the way through the ranked program can't get to the world series reward and i think that's changing on friday with that ranked program update i think you're going to be able to progress further in the ranked program and get to those world series rewards and again if we go ahead and look at ranked seasons if we go ahead and check out i still haven't played my first game by the way i got some work to do before the season ends on april 12th but if we go ahead and check out the ranked program that world series pack that reward is sellable if you wanted to get ernie banks for Andy johnson but didn't want to use them you wanted to sell them for the stubs that reward is going to be sellable i would imagine once they drop that ranked update once you're able to get the cards through the program we're probably going to see the prices drop down a little bit i could be wrong on that but if you have ernie banks for Andy johnson it could be a good idea again don't take my word for it i could always be wrong 
But I got to think that starting on Friday, their prices might go down. I don't know if Randy Johnson will still be above 200,000 stubs. And checking out the other programs, we still only have the starter in the spring breakout. But Friday, we're getting that egg hunt program. And back to what I said at the beginning of the video, maybe it's a hot take. But I kind of wish when they add a new packs, maybe not right away, because I get this is like they want the prices of the cards to be high. They want people to spend money on stubs or spend their stubs in the pack store, whatever. But I kind of wish for the spring breakout packs. I kind of wish for the Soul Series at some point for the fresh start. I wish there were other ways to get these packs besides just buying them in the pack shop. I I'm not saying I want to get handed like five or ten of these packs, but... Even just working through missions, a program. I don't really like Conquest that much, but I would grind a Conquest map for one fresh start pack or one soul series, one spring breakout pack. It would just be nice if there were other ways to get those packs. And I'm not sure if anyone feels the same way, but that's going to be the new content for today. I'm interested to see in the comment section if you're excited for any of these cards. And I'm really looking forward to Friday. That should be a fun day. I'm looking forward specifically to the Egg Hunt program. Feel free to drop a like if y'all enjoyed. Subscribe for daily uploads on the channel. I think we might be debuting 99 Babe Ruth in tomorrow's video. So maybe that's something to look forward towards. But I appreciate y'all watching every single day. Showing love, showing support on the videos. And I hope you have a great rest of your day. I'll see you next time.